Welcome to our new video. In this video, we will be seeing how we can develop a quiz app using Angular. And of course, it will be again with the local storage. Or what we can say is simply uh, what we need, the question array, we can store it in a asset file or simply in one variable. Okay, so let me show you the demo what we have. Okay, so this will be our landing page where user will enter his username and the email ID. On click or proceed, it will land to the quiz page. Okay, so this is kind of a UI we have. So when's the queues, uh, what we can say, when's the test started, we will have a timer of 50 seconds. So it will reduce up to zero. If it is zero, it will navigate to next question automatically. So here we are showing what number of questions we have and what is the current question number. This is the current question. Then we have the answers. So you can see on over, I'm getting some background color. Once I select any option, I get the blue color, uh, sorry, green color. Let's say check to number. Okay, so in below also we have question number box. So whatever the question we attempt, those only will highlight. Let's say I'm clicking on next. So again, timer will start from 50. I'm skipping this question. So you can see I'm now clicking the third question. So you can see two is, I have already started it. That's why it is locked out. Let's start again. Okay, so likewise we have these things. Let's say I'm skipping two questions, then instructor I'm selecting. So you can see three and four are unanswered. So this is everything what we have. Then one more thing is like previous and the next arrow. So you can see currently I'm in the question number one. So my previous arrow get disabled. And if I'm on the last question, so let's see, this is my last question. So my next arrow is again disabled. Okay. So this is how we have to do. I will just, in this video, I'm just going through whole overview and the code. I will make a separate videos where we will perform this and build this Angular app using our step-by-step -step approach, okay? So basically I have created three components. First is the welcome, which you have seen. Okay, here we have simple card and with the two text box and a button. So in welcome, you can see we have a simple card, simple form is there where we have two input element and one button. Okay. So once we click on the save, let's say proceed, we are, what we are doing, we are just storing the data in the local storage and navigating to the test. Okay. So this is my test component. So in test component, I have used all the bootstrap classes only. Let me minimize the things. Okay, so first card is what you can see. Okay, the top card where we have the heading. So first row is there and again we have three column. In first column we have image, in middle column we have uh, title, then user detail. We are fetching this from the local storage. Then again we have the HR and next row. So it's a simple UI. See, first we have row, then in that row we have three columns. Then in the last column, we are showing the low uh, username and email to separate it out. Again, we have HR. Then again, we have one row where we have questions and the counter. Okay. Then in next card, we have current question. So if you can see, let me show you the question array. Okay. So question array, you can see I have the simple question. Let's say question array again, we have the object. So in this object, we have question label where we will have the question. Okay. Then again, we have second property options. Again, option is an array where we have object of the options label and out of this option, one might be correct. So for that, we have just added one more property that is correct. So like this, we have multiple questions. Okay. After that, current question is my one variable. So in current question, we are just storing the current question number. So as you can see, by default, I'm assigning zero because when we start indexing from the array, so it, by default start from the zero. Okay. So that is how things are here. So current question, question array, then square bracket, then current question index, then question label. So it is printing. Let me go back to test.
okay so here we are getting the current question printed if i click on next so this is the second question if i click on next this is the question again if i go to the next so second question okay this this div is responsible to just to show the question then we need to show the options also for the selected question so you can see again we have a card and some css then we have ng4 so let option of question array same thing what we did here to select the question same it is here now instead of question label we are using the options because option is the array for that particular question so the ng4 is for that then we are printing option dot label again option dot label is coming from here option dot label so all options you can see let's go back it's because of timer is very less so you can see date void number string date void number string these are the options which we have plotted okay 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 so next thing is timer so this timer what we are saying like uh, it is reducing by one second after one second it is reducing so for this we have created one event uh, variable that is counter by default we have set it to 50 and this counter we are reducing in using interval so in start counter you can see we have created this dot question interval it is nothing but any okay now we are storing observable data of interval so for here i'm i have provided let's say what we can say one one of three second it will it will be the time otherwise this is nothing but one second so after every one second you will get a subscribe okay since it will return the interval by default return the observable so we are just subscribing to it after every one second we will get here so here we are reducing the timer okay if the timer is zero means particular time limit for that question is over so we are navigating to the next question and again we are resetting the counter to the 50 okay and once the start counter event is triggered i need this in ng on in it okay so this is the simple in, uh, this is the complex or what we can say extra logic what we have written here simply created interval interval again coming from the rxjs library you can see okay so with after every one second we will get the subscribe then we are just decrementing the counter if counter is zero means that uh, time limit for that particular question is over then we are just triggering to the next question so in next question we are simply incrementing the current question index okay so you can see in current question index we are incrementing then again we are calling the method start counter okay so again the counter will set to the 50 and again it will start okay we don't need it here because ultimately we are calling this start counter from uh, method okay again one function is there that is previous question so in previous question again we just have to minimize it okay one more is like when we are selecting okay you see it is if i go back it remembers the selection so for that we have one method on select so in on select what we are sending current question current question options and the option which on which we have selected so if we go to the on select okay so you can see question dot is attempted so this variable is attempted we are using to the down bottom you see here like what are the questions we have attempted it is in green so for that where whenever we click on the option that question get attempted so we are just using for loop on the again question array and we are we are adding that one property so just for that we are adding the dynamic class attempted or the left and again same prop classes are there let's see this class okay so we are just adding background color pretty simple okay so in on select 
first we are ma making that questions is attempted then we need to clear the whatever the previous selection we have so that's for that's why we are using for loop and in element dot is selected is equal to false so the reason is let's say i have selected void now i have gone to the next question then i again i am coming back so when i click on the number so i need to make that previous selection goes away right so for that we are uh, we are just changing the is selected property to by default false then if we are checking like if option is correct no sorry option dot is selected it to true okay this pointer is somewhat uh, just to uh, get the number of answer correct okay so these are the all questions we have one more extra thing is there like host listener we have added if you try to go away let's say welcome it will ask you like do you want to leave the site or not for this we have just implemented this host listener before unload event of windows okay so this is everything we have so once we was that uh, what we can say uh, time limit got extended it again redirected it again it again with redirect to the result page so this is everything what we have so in this video it was just an overview for this uh, quiz application in coming videos i will be making all the uh, step by step videos where you can see all the code and you can understand what logic and why we have written it okay so thank you till then